Hi, this is Alan with uh, Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're doing continuing on the AP Calculus uh, 2006 uh, free response questions, and we're looking at number two here. So at an intersection in Thomasville, Oregon, cars turn left at a rate L of t is equal to 60 root t sine squared t over 3 cars per hour over the time interval 0 less than t less than 18 hours. The graph of L of t is shown below, above. To the nearest whole number, find the total number of cars turning left at the intersection over time interval. Okay, so this is the rate, cars per hour. Um, I want to find the total number of cars turning left at the intersection. So I want to find the area under this curve. If this is the rate, then to find the total amount is I want to um, integrate this. So I want to integrate from 0 to 18 L of t dt. And I'm just going to use my calculator for that because this is the calculator portion of the exam. Um, function integral L of t, which is 60 square root of x uh, sine of x, x over 3 squared, and grade from x. Integrate from 0 to 18. Now I want to check the mode that I'm in. I'm in radian, so that's good. I got 1658 cars. Okay. Traffic engineers will consider turn restrictions when LT is greater than 150 cars per hour. Find all values of t for which L of t is greater than 150 and compute the average value over this time interval. Indicate the units of measures. Okay, so it looks like on this picture this is less than 150, but we're going to look at this. And what I would do is I would just subtract 150 and plot this. So I would go to y equals. Um, let's clear that. And do 60. Actually, let me show you how to do intersection, just in case you, you're, you're curious and you, you prefer doing it as intersection sine of x divided by 3 squared. Oh, whoops, what did I mess up? Oh, uh, I don't know why I put a comma there. Let's do a windowing like here. x goes from 0 to 18 y is going from 0 to about 250. Oh, we'll make the scale like, uh, oops, the x scale, we'll make 1, uh, we'll make it about 2. The y, let's see, 0 to 250, the y scale we'll do like 50, like they have on here. Okay, so that that's that plot. And I'm curious, I want to use some of the calculation methods, see what's the easiest way to do. I could find a value. Oh, okay, that's that's finding when it's uh, the x, the y value given a value x. Minimum, maximum, intersect, integral, zero. See, none of them, see, I gotta do an intersection. So if I didn't do intersection, I would have to intersect it with the graph 150. Sorry about that. Fix that. So then I plot both of those, and then now I can calculate an intersection. So first intersection occurs at 12.4283. The second intersection would occur at 16.1217 okay so that's where it intersects 150 now to find the average value I have to integrate over these two bounds like the definition this is the definition of average value of L of T DT I'm going to add up the the total number of cars and I'm just going to divide it by the width of the interval So, 
let's calculate this. I can use my previous uh, thing, except instead of going from 0 to 18, I'm going to go 12.4283 all the way to 16.1217. And then I'm going to divide it by the interval width, which is 16.1217 minus 12.4283. And I get this is 199 uh, cars per hour. And the, the, the region is between 12.4283 to 16.1217. Uh, hours. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's my time interval. That uh, it's above 150. Okay, because they want you to write both. So traffic engineers will install a signal if there's any two-hour time interval during which the product of the total number of cars turning left and the total number of oncoming cars traveling straight through the intersection is greater than 200,000. In every two-hour time interval, 500 oncoming cars travel straight through the intersection. Does this intersection require a traffic signal? Any two hour time interval during which the product of the total number of cars turning left and the total number of oncoming cars traveling straight through the intersection is greater than 200,000. So I want to know, let's see. <clears throat> when I did this one, which was 12.42, which is about here to 16, this is a four hour interval. I'm trying to reason out what they're trying to say. So, like, basically, if this product, product is cars, number of cars times the number of straight. Um, needs to be greater than 200,000. And the number straight is 500. That's really the number of cars it, when it exceeds 200,000 divided by 500, right? And so that ends up being, um, what, 400? Yeah. So what I want to know is, is there any two-hour interval that we have 400 cars. Well, that's an average, in a, in a two hours, that's an average of 200 cars per hour, right? That's the, the average value. Does the average value exceed 200? Does the average value ever hit 200 cars an hour? Um, well, I can tell you over two time, like here to here is the only time uh, it exceeds 200. Um, so what you would want to know is whether or not um, there's a section of area that I would have 400 cars. So I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do this in the calculator. I, I get what they're asking. Like this window, like when does it exceed? Like this average value, maybe we just do it like when we uh, exceed uh, 200. Let's find the time intervals and see how wide that is. Like, I need to know how wide this interval is. If it's at least two hours, and then then I know that there's. But if it's less than two hours, and it, it doesn't it doesn't mean it's not. It's just I would have to um, calculate it a little better, and I'd have to think about it. So this is a little tricky of a question. Uh, intersection. between this curve and this curve, and my guess is somewhere over here. So L of t would equal 200 at two time intervals. t is equal to 13.253. And the other interval is, or the, oh man, why do you keep doing that? To get, if you want the other intersection point, you put your guess like further closer to the right. 
And this interval is two hours, right? So um, between these two times, we're greater than 200, right? Between these two time intervals. So that means like we definitely are gonna have more than 400 cars because we've exceeded this value over two hours, right? So, at a, so definitely we're gonna exceed the average of 200 over this time interval. Like look at that, like we're at, we're at a minimum of 200 for two hours. So we're definitely going to uh, exceed this requirement here. So let's take a look at uh, the solutions. 1658 cars, 199.426 cars per hour. I thought they went to the nearest car, but that's fine, 199. Um, yeah, so we did this. The number of crush would be greater than 400 to our interval. If LT is greater than 200 in the interval, is between that. So yes, the traffic signal is required. Okay, cool. Um, hope you found that helpful. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.